Eh? Where are we York Street. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll just go where it tells me. <laughs> Good morning YouTube and welcome to the Cat channel. Once again we're on the road on a beautiful day. Sunny 15 degrees. It's a bank holiday Monday. I'm back at work tomorrow. Boom. But uh, yeah, looking forward to a day on the bike. Meeting up with Smoky Bar, my old mucker. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're going to go to Newlands Corner and then I don't know what we're going to do. I, I don't know if we're going to go anywhere else, if we're going to go to um, maybe go up Box Hill from there, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll see how the day goes. So today I guess um, I wanted to talk about blood bikes. Um, the, uh, the guys that uh, deliver blood to hospitals on the back of a motorbike. Yeah, Adam from Team Motorvloggers uh, keeps tweeting about them and keeps putting little art articles on his website about blood bikes, um, you know, and how great these guys are. And, and I, I didn't really know a lot. I mean, I knew that they existed, but I didn't know a lot about them. So I did a bit of reading. had no idea that they're all charity-based um, and that it's not a day job. I thought it was like a day job, but it's not. It's, it's all charity-based. People give up their time. So bikers give up their time to... Uh, you know to do this uh, to be part of a rotor and they give up you know one or two days a month or maybe more uh, to deliver blood to hospitals which I think is really great it's worth mentioning that every part of the blood bike um, charity is is volunteer work so for the controller who rings up the biker in the middle of the night and says you've got to get from here to here to the um, to the the people who do the fundraising it's all charity based all volunteer work and I just think it's really great it's absolutely brilliant if you are interested then um, and when you want to learn more about it or you, you're interested in becoming a blood biker then uh, visit this website you need to have just off the top of my head you need to have two years uh, experience with a full motorcycle license you need to be over the age of 17 I think it is and also you need to have an advanced motorcycle certificate which you can get at this website and actually that's something that I'm doing I've decided I haven't got two years experience but definitely what I can do is get my advanced motorcycle certificate it's well worth doing 90% they, 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 they give you access to 90% I'll just randomly say 90 90% <laughs> no um, once you've passed you get access to a insurance search that only advanced motorcyclists can see and they guarantee 90% to beat 90% of insurance quotes so I mean that's a benefit in itself but also apparently um, those motorcyclists that hold the advanced certificate are less likely to have an accident that's another benefit and also it goes towards you becoming a, a, a blood biker and donating some of your time so all exciting stuff um, basically you go onto the website that I just put up you search for your local um, advanced motorcyclist group you pay £125 that allows you to um, that gives you your exam fees which will last for three years so um, you, within, the, within three years you can take your exam and it's all paid for out of the £125 it signs you up for the uh, IAM uh, website, Jesus man, that was a ridiculous move. Um, so it gives you a year's membership to the IAM, or the, I think it's Institute of Advanced Motorists. And it gives you a year's membership to your local group. And it is your local group that will provide you with an observer. I've been given by observer. Uh, the idea is that you meet up on a regular basis. They observe you, they give you tips and hints, and they take you... Um, all the way up to your test so basically they observe you and when they feel that you're in a level where you can pass your advanced motorcyclist test they tell you you go and do your test um, but I mean you know you get to meet with new people you get to meet a new group get to go out to new places 
my local one is the Thames Valley Advanced Motorcyclist Group and they do loads of stuff, they do trips abroad, they do you know weekly or monthly meets, they have lots of different you know because Thames Valley is a big place, they've got um, a Reading group, they've got a Slough group uh, you know it sounds really interesting and, and I signed up on Christmas Day and on Boxing Day uh, some guy f came and delivered the all the stuff that I needed uh, hand delivered it. You can't go much, can't get much better than that. So um, I, I'll do a I'll, when I do my first observer ride, I'll uh, I'll do a vlog on that and let you let you guys see how it goes. Cause it's quite interesting. I'm always looking to learn new skills and anything that can make me safer on the road is a good thing. So yeah, that's that. I'm going to be late to meet Mr. Smokey Bar. I'm going to be late by much, but enough for it to bother me. I hate being late. But it was a choice of leaving on time or having that last cup of tea, and oh god, I really needed that last cup of tea. God, I don't know if you ever saw, um, if any of you saw Red Renner's most recent video, uh, where that fucking idiot nearly rode, drove straight into her bloody scary I tell you and you can hear it in her voice actually how shaken up she is so glad she's okay but fucking hell it just it, it, honestly watch the video I'll put it in the uh, in the description feed watch the video and just look where the guy's looking he's not even looking at you know round the bend he's looking kind of straight in front of him like, in a really you know really weird angle it's like what the fuck are you doing I think she does quite well not to go fucking loopy and all because you know I must admit, I'm not one of these people that gets really angry with with, uh, with cars who make a mistake. I mean, I understand why cycl motorcyclists do, because at the end of the day, it's not like being behind a car. <clears throat> if a motorist makes a mistake and they take you out, well, they can fucking take your life, they can take your, your legs, you know, the, you know, the use of your legs. And um, it's serious shit for a motorcyclist if you get in trouble. And I understand why they get so angry, but I just, uh, I don't know, it's not for me. I'm not that kind of person. I mean, I get angry, but just not in their faces. And mainly because um, it, I've, I've been on the arse end of somebody who's beaten the crap out of me and put me in hospital. And once you realize actually how vulnerable you are just to somebody with, a, with fists um, and a set of boots, you just think you just realise it ain't worth it because you just don't know you don't know that person who that person is behind the wheel you don't know if they've got a knife or a baseball bat you don't know how much of a fucking lunatic they are you know they could get out of that car and throw you off your fucking bike and you know beat the crap out of you and put you in hospital or worse um, and what, what you know what's the point you might as well just fucking just bite your tongue and have, and have done with it you know they're just because you shout at them or you lose your you know you start chasing them down they're not going to change their ways it's not going to make any difference <clears throat> you know the best thing to do in my mind is to fucking shame them man put them on put them on youtube just kind of point out you know where obviously where they've gone wrong you know, it's unlikely that they're going to see the video but um you know i think it's it's one way of dealing with it where you don't have to get in people's faces because like i say um, I understand why people do it, but you just don't know who's behind that wheel. You don't know what their mentality is. I'm officially of so, a so, 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 <laughs> stop me, Smee, Smee, stop me, stop me, Smee. I'm a, I'm a SMO spotlight, uh, subscriber spotlight person. Thank you, SMO, so very, very much. Uh, overnight, I got nine subscribers, I think, nine extra subscribers, just by being on, um, Smo spotlight. It's nice, you know. It's nice to see uh, get a bit of extra support from the community. Smo's just awesome at that. 